Check out this little butterfly. He was absolutely in love with us. He kept showing up everywhere. Cheryl kept snapping pictures. How do you turn it off? The red dot? Yeah. Oh, okay. Folks, as Jordan shoots this AR-15, with each shot, um, there's recoil that travels into his shoulder and from his shoulder into his body. Just watch with each shot how much his body gets moved back. Um, we're going to come back to that and uh, make a comparison in just a little while. How many shells does it hold? Uh, five plus one, I believe. Okay. Mind you, it depends how long your shells are. This takes it up to a max three inch round. Okay. So made a mistake and bought a bought a uh, three and a half inch box. Oh. <laughs> So folks, this was the first time firing the 12 gauge. Um, I had cycled it quite a bit beforehand and it always felt rough and didn't quite feel right. So uh, to be honest, this jam wasn't a complete surprise to me. So we messed with it for quite a while here and never did get the jam cleared. Um, I ended up having to take it home and stripped it down to the last bolt, literally took everything apart. Um, in the process of taking it apart, I noticed a couple things that didn't seem right, and when I was putting it back together, it dawned on me that this rifle had been assembled incorrectly at the factory. Now this is a fairly inexpensive weapon, and so I'm not going to complain a whole lot about um, factory employees not knowing what they're doing, but uh, having torn it apart, I was able to figure out how to put it back together correctly and ever since then it has been cycling like a champ and never so much as one little problem with it so I'm actually very pleased with the gun and uh, maybe it'll make a, an appearance in a future video. Another question. Chambered. <laughs> you want to try a shot? Sure. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if I've ever fired a, a lever action. That's the last round. <laughs> last round. <laughs> it's got a hair trigger, so just oh, realize that to... as soon as you put your finger on the trigger, just slide in there. Yeah, just slide it in. None. And you're live. Oh. 
Huh, that scopes off a little bit. <laughs> Well, yeah. Pop up our sights. It's, this also has not been sighted in, so God only knows where it's going to shoot. <laughs> and 716. Uh, that is 308, and the other one. Large boxes are 716, so whatever you want to fire, they're both compatible. Seven six two is the European standard, right? Three oh eight is American. Now the case is just slightly different. There's um three oh eight this um folder here is not quite as sharp. Mm -hmm. Otherwise it'll be really Yeah, it's So folks, remember I had asked you to watch uh, Jordan's movement as he was shooting the AR-15 earlier. Um, try to recall how far his body was being moved, and then watch now while he shoots the AR-10. Considering it's a significantly larger round, I have to say I'm really happy with the uh, recoil control on this gun. When the round exits the barrel on that gun, um, I will say there's a ton of gas that comes off the muzzle brake. That thing really pushes it. Yeah. Nice. Definitely taller than I am. <laughs> How did I get this on? Just a little bit. Wrong way again. Somehow I always do this, I never get it on the right way. In my defense, Jordan had me up until 4 o'clock in the morning, so I was definitely not 100% on my game. Yeah, it doesn't kick nearly as much as I expected it to. Yeah, I was like braced for it to, to kick a lot to, more, and it was like, oh, this is this almost feels the same as the other one. Yeah. Yeah, for a 308, that's pretty nice shooting.
It is noticeably harder to get like rapid shots off with this one though. <laughs> yeah. You also shouldn't really need it with a 308 though. <laughs>